Gauteng Premier David Makura insists the looting of foreign-owned shops is a result of criminality and not xenophobia. The Premier met with scores of foreign traders affected by the recent Soweto looting spree this weekend. Accompanied by a strong Gauteng government delegation, he said the aim is for townships to be vibrant places of economic activity and to advance the township revitalization program. His remarks come while some believe resentment against foreign traders needs to be acknowledged and dealt with. Well, Gauteng MEC for Economic Development, Lebo Hang Maile, was with the Premier this weekend on those visits. He joins me now. MEC, good afternoon. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thank you. Afternoon. Well, you know, the looting comes at a time, ironically, when government says it wants to revitalize the township economy and want to go ahead to actually make that part of the country progressive. Do these latest events affect or even inform some of those plans? Well, firstly, these lootings are not starting now. You will know that uh, they've happened uh, previously in the previous years. So um, <coughs> the the program that we have which we launched just after the elections next year la last year um, was to go to all the different townships about 65 to be specific to engage with uh, um, entrepreneurs in those townships because we believe that the uh, townships must become uh, production sites uh, that in the, in the townships uh, the entrepreneurs must be given an opportunity to can reach their full potential and, 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 and we think uh, um, it's unfortunate that there's been these lootings. Uh, <coughs> the Premier has said that uh, we view these as uh, uh, activities of, uh, I mean, criminal activities, and they must be condemned as such. Uh, but we also think that um <coughs> perhaps there's an opportunity to um, get the foreign-owned businesses in the townships uh, working and matching with the local owned uh, uh, businesses because there's a lot that uh, uh, they can learn from each other. And, that, and, and that's important though, isn't it, MEC? Yes. Because you have reports that there is indeed growing resentment in the communities um, within those townships. I mean, uh, some reports saying that um, you, you have situations where, I saw a report <coughs> this morning in fact, where foreign traders appear to have lower markups, they have great networking strategies, there's more willingness to work long hours. Yeah. You know, I mean, to some extent, the locals' uh, reports can't be way off on the fact that there is this resentment growing. But, I mean, the idea is to acknowledge it, isn't it? There is, there is, there is uh, some uh, resentment, resentment uh, especially from some of the entrepreneurs. Yep. Uh, <coughs> but I don't think uh, the people who are looting the shops are the entrepreneurs. I think it's just... Uh, uh, criminals were taking advantage of the situation that prevailed in Soweto last week, and that's why uh, it must be condemned. Um, and it must not defocus us from looking at the main issue. And the main issue is how do we ensure that there is a, a increased uh, participation of our entrepreneurs into the mainstream economy? Uh, because if you look at the nature of our economy, it's very monopolistic, yeah. uh, very exclusive. And uh, uh, the, the, the vast majority of our people are not integrated into the mainstream economy. And that's why we must uh, make efforts to ensure that we close the gap uh, between uh, the rich and the poor, but we also um, open new opportunities for uh, potential new entrants into the economy. Hence, we said, let's look at decentralizing. Uh, the economic benefits, let's go into the various townships mm -hmm. and let's make sure that our townships become uh, economic um, uh, uh, centers or, or production centers. But then there are a number of uh, challenges and one of those is land uh, and, and, and space to operate. Uh, there are a lot of entrepreneurs, when we went throughout the different parts of Gauteng, who've got brilliant ideas but it's very difficult to access land and uh, space where they can operate their businesses. Most of them are operating mm -hmm. from their uh, homes and from their garages. There's an issue of finance, and this is one of the biggest issues. Uh, most of the entrepreneurs are not able to come into, the, um, uh, into business because they might have ideas, but those ideas are not financed. And then there's an issue of market access, mm -hmm. amongst others. And then there's an issue of uh, entrepreneurship. 
yeah. uh, because the culture of entrepreneurship is low amongst our, our, our people. Um, even if there are uh, entrepreneurs in the different parts of the province, but uh, the, 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 we, we need to get more and more, especially young people, uh, understanding and appreciating the concept of entrepreneurship and what does it mean, including working hard, right. uh, being innovative, et cetera, et cetera. How do we measure that that sort of thing is changing? Because w you have to see sort of visible evidence mm -hmm. uh, that we're going in a particular direction and indeed we're working towards that revitalization plan. How do we measure whether successes are happening on the ground? I think there could be various ways and uh, one of them is when we see more and more uh, small medium enterprises uh, being sustainable and being surviving longer, being able to deal with issues, uh, compliance issues like SARS and all that. Because we have seen uh, m many uh, small medium enterprises not surviving because they owe SARS, because they can manage their books yep. well, because of uh, many other problems. So I think one indicator uh, should be uh, to see if uh, more and more of our SMM is uh, being sustainable, self-sufficient, but also growing and not uh, entirely dependent on, on the state, uh, being able to, on their own, initiate uh, new things outside uh, uh, state uh, procurement. But the state has got the responsibility to make sure that we, we, we invest in these businesses, yeah. we create a conducive environment uh, for them, uh, we skill them and we also um, give them opportunities uh, through the state procurement um, uh, processes that we have. And we will be watching that closely. Gauteng MEC for Economic Development, Lebo Mahile. Thanks very much. Indeed. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much.